Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge Blade Works. So I'm doing a quick series on books out of my library. And I'm gonna take different sections of trees and birds and wild edibles and children's books, survival bushcraft books, camping, hunting, hiking, whatever. Anything you're interested in, let me know. If I have the books, I'll do a little, do a little, uh, throw some books up there and tell you what I like to read and the ones that I have in my library. But uh, so tonight, it's uh, children's books. I found some more in there, and these are like children's adventure books. And one of my favorites, and I've read all these books, so they're awesome. And I've read this one a bunch of times. Actually, all these ones I've kind of read a lot. The River. This is a Gary Paulson book. One of my favorite authors is Gary Paulson. He does some great children's books, and uh, his, his stories are great. I love them. But The River, highly recommended for, for kids. If you've got some kids and they want to read some adventure books or whatever, or if you want to get them into bushcraft survival stuff and learn some skills, there's a lot of skills and stuff in this. And, uh, you know, it, there's a lot of uh, adventure series that he does, Gary Paulson does, on, uh, like, getting out of certain things alive. And anyways, I'm not going to ramble on all night, but The River, great book. Now, this one, this is one of my antiques. This was found in my uh, library, and it's Race Against Death. I know I've read it, don't remember reading it, but... It was a cool book, I know that, because I still got it. And it's by Seymour Reit, R-E-I-T. And this is a good kid's book. Far North, Will Hobbs. Will Hobbs is another one of my favorite authors for kids' books. And like I said, I've read all these. They're really good books. This was a fun read right here. About two kids that couldn't stand each other, and they get stuck with each other, and they have to make it through something, and, you know this scenario and get out alive and it's a lot of adventure and action or whatever really good book Gary Paulson the island this is another really good one oh I think I don't think Gary Paulson does a bad book the guy's an awesome author and this is a children's book but like I said I've, I've read it a whole bunch of times and loved it really good story highly recommended and these are all the five star books that I that I remember reading that I really enjoyed and that's why uh, I wanted to put these up you know for children and check them out if uh, you're a mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, and you want to get some good books for the kids, these are the ones to get them. Robinson Caruso, and this is by Daniel Defoe. I believe this is one of the original authors, and they kind of go through and redid this book a little bit, but uh, great story. Loved this story, and I've read this a lot of times, and, and uh, I've actually read this this story and by you know five or six other bookmakers, and uh, I love it. It's a great one. Highly recommended for kids. I would say kids, you know, uh, 11 on up. They'd probably like to read the story. It's really adventurous. Anyways, my favorite, one of my favorite children's books, and I've read this a bunch of times, Touching Spirit Bear by Ben McKellison. Touching Spirit Bear, awesome story. This is about a kid that's a troublemaker, kind of like me, and they put him on this uh, island in the middle of nowhere and he's trying to explain to them that he's seen this bear and whatever and some stuff's happening to him and they don't believe him because he's a troublemaker kind of like crying for you know crying out for wolf but uh kids will love this book this is one of them books that you could sit down and read in one night because it just keeps you uh really focused and it's a lot of adventure and action and awesome anyways thanks for joining me with my short video tonight hope i didn't bore you guys to death and uh, i'll do some more children's books pretty soon have a good night thanks